Hey everyone, and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Phineas and Ferb. I'm going to get started by drawing Ferb on the left side of our page. So let's start with the eye. I'm going to start with a circle, starting from the top, come around to the bottom, and then back up to the top. I'm going to draw the pupil right in the center with a small circle. And then on top left, I'm just going to draw this tiny little circle for highlight, and then color the bottom area in black. From here, I'm just going to tuck the nose in underneath the eye. So starting about halfway down the eye, I'm just going to draw a slight curve over towards the right. We're going to round out the front of the nose, coming down. Now I'm going to pull this back in with a curve in the opposite direction. So curving in to right about there. Let's tuck the right eye in behind. So it's almost like an oval that goes in behind. Starting from behind the eye, we're going to go up. And then we're just going to pull this down behind the nose. Right in here, we're just going to draw a circle pupil and then again we're going to draw a tiny circle on the top left and then color in the bottom black. Let's continue down the face so right here at the bottom of the nose we're going to draw a straight line with a slight angle going over towards the left. Coming down in. Now we're going to draw the top lip. From here we're going to go out with a slight angle then we're going to go across back in. We're going to continue this line down towards the neck. So coming straight down to right about there. Let's go back up to the top of the head and draw on the hair. So we're going to take this line and just continue a little bit above this eye. Going up. Now we're going to overlap that with the hair. So starting back, we're going to curve over and over towards the right. We're going to curve this back up, so tapering it up to the top. Now let's go down and draw on the front bangs. From here we're just going to curve down towards the eye. We're going to curve that back in towards the center of the head. Now we're going to draw the hair bangs going out towards the left. Curve down towards the left that back up. We'll draw a larger one on the side here, going out, and then we'll pull that back up. We'll draw one coming out the side, so curving up towards the left there, and then back in. Now we'll draw one hair here and then one larger one on the right side. We're just going to curve out towards the left, and then pull this back in. Now we're going to connect those two points with another hair strand that goes out towards the right. Starting at the top, we'll curve over connect those two points with a curve. Now let's go over to the left and draw on the back side of the head. So we're going to angle this line slightly over towards the right, starting just underneath the hair bang, and draw a straight line angling down just beside the eye to right about there. We're going to tuck the ear on the side here. So it's like a C, comes around. Now we're going to continue the line down towards the neck, coming in. Right inside the ear, we're going to draw like a backwards three, just for some inner ear detail. Let's go ahead and draw in the collar. So I'm just going to overlap these two lines with a straight line going across from left to right. We're going to take these two points and angle down and in. Right about there. Now we're going to pull these up towards the middle. We're not going to go all the way to the top line. We're just going to leave a little bit of a gap. And then in between here, we're going to draw in the button, a little circle. Let's move over to the left and draw on this side of the body. So we're going to start just underneath this collar. We're going to curve out and then down. Now we're gonna round out the sleeve. We're gonna curve in. Now I'm gonna curve this back up in that same direction as we have on top, curving up, leaving a little bit of a gap. Now I'm gonna tuck the arm in underneath the sleeve. So in the middle, we're gonna draw two curved lines coming down. Starting on the left, we'll curve down. We're gonna move over towards the right and draw the same thing, just leaving an even space gap for the arm. Now for the fingers, I'm gonna start with the thumb side first, curving in and then back. We're gonna draw three fingers going out this way. So it's almost the same shape, coming down and up. Do that again, coming out, up, and then we're just going to fill that little gap in with one final little finger, going out and then back in. Underneath this arm, we're going to draw the top part of the pants. We're going to step down just a little bit, draw a straight line going across towards the middle, draw a little V, and we'll continue over towards the right side. Now we're just going to pull this in with a slight angle line coming down. We're going to draw the sides of the body coming down towards the legs. So from here we're going to go straight down and then pull that in slightly at the bottom. We'll do the same thing on this side. So just underneath the sleeve. Actually before I do that I'm going to draw the back side of the sleeve. These two points are going to connect behind the arm with a curve. It goes around like that. Now we can tuck in the back side of the pants. So right here, go straight down and then at the bottom we're just going to pull that in. Let's draw the little belt. So just below the V, we're going to draw a little square. 
We're gonna tuck a square on the side of the body here. So we're going out, down, and then across. We'll add one more square here. Let's continue with the arm on the right side here. So just like we did on the left, we're gonna start behind the collar, curving down. Now we're gonna draw the cuff curving in the opposite direction, curving in behind the pant. We're gonna take that same arm and just flip it over on this side. Starting with the inside part of the arm, we're gonna curve down and out. Move over, just draw that same curve coming down. We'll draw the same style hand. From this point, we're gonna draw the thumb coming in, and back out. Draw one finger, coming down and up. We'll just continue this three times. And then the final pinky going out, and then up and towards the wrist. Now in the bottom here, just in between these two lines, I'm gonna draw a short line in the middle for the lower torso. I'm gonna take these two lines and connect it by drawing two lines coming down in an angle for the left leg. Do the same thing on the right, angling out towards the right. Now we're gonna draw in the pant cuff. So it's almost like a big rectangle with rounded edges. So we're gonna overlap these two lines with a curve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now on the sides here, we're just gonna curve them out. So just bowing them out. We'll connect the bottom with a curve that comes down. We'll do the same thing right side. Now from here we're going to draw on the legs, the bottom part of the legs are going to come inwards. So starting on the left side, just inside from that corner, we curve down towards the heel. Do the same thing on the right, stepping in, curving down towards the heel. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the shoe, so from the heel to the toe, we're just going to draw a curve, going across like that. From the toe, I want to curve the top of the foot and just come in just above the heel, going up same thing on the right side, going up and then down. We're going to draw the sole, so taking that line, just duplicating it. Over here we'll do the same thing. Now we just want to draw a little toe cap, curving down towards the sole on both sides. We're going to draw the outside part of the leg, so right up here, we're just going to draw a straight line angling in, and we're going to add a little sock line, a little curve on both sides, about halfway down the leg. Let's color the top part of the shoe in black. Now that we've got firm, let's move over towards the right and draw Phineas. So we're going to start with his eyes first. So his eyes start about the same height as Ferb's nose. So starting over here, draw a big circle all the way around. We're going to tuck the pupil on the right side here. So we're going to draw a circle on this side. And again, we're going to draw a little circle on the top left and then color the bottom in black. Now Phineas's face is shaped almost like a triangle. So we're gonna start with the bridge of the nose going to the back of the head with an angle line. Coming out from the tip of the nose, we're gonna angle up and behind the eye. We're gonna continue this line all the way up to the top of the head. Up here, we're just gonna flatten it off with an angle line. We're gonna curve the back of the neck coming down to right about here, about the same height as we have on fur. We curve down and in. We draw a backward C for the ear. We're drawing the number three. We're gonna continue this curve all the way down towards the bottom of the neck. For the front side of the face, we wanna leave a gap in the center here. So I'm gonna take this point, curve down towards the front of the neck, but we wanna add some space for the mouth. So we start up at the tip, I'm gonna curve down and in. Right here is where I'm gonna add the mouth. We're gonna open up his mouth by drawing a curve going up. And we're gonna curve that back down, so tapering it, but we wanna continue this line down towards the chin. Curve down to right there. We'll continue this curve down, leaving a gap in the neck. We're just gonna close this off with a little curve. Let's add some teeth. So up along here, we're gonna step in, draw an angle line, and curve that back to the back of the mouth. Down here, we're just gonna draw a short little line, curving in the opposite direction. Right in here, we draw a curve for the back side of the mouth. And then right from here, we're gonna draw a curve for the tongue. Let's draw the eye in the back. So we're gonna take this circle and just duplicate it in the back, just overlap in behind the nose bridge and the eye. Starting over here, curve around, and then back in. Right down here, just above the nose bridge, we're gonna draw a little half circle for the pupil. Draw a little half circle at the top for the highlight and color the bottom in black. Just above each eye, we're gonna add the eyebrows. So above the left eye, we draw a curve. Now I'm gonna connect those two points with a higher curve going up and then down. Do the same thing above the right eye. Right curve. We're gonna start at the front and just curve up and then down. Up 
up at the top of the head, we're gonna add some stubble. So we're just gonna add three little spots. Now we're gonna tuck the hair in behind the top of the head. So from this corner, we're gonna go over towards the left, curve over, and we're gonna taper this back. Curving back, and go over towards the left again. Now we're gonna pull that back in. We'll draw one little hair strand up here, so we're going up and then down. Now we're gonna go in the opposite direction. Curve down towards the right, pull that back in, down, back up, and we'll draw one more right here. Point down, and then we'll tuck this in behind the back of the head. Now let's work our way down the body. We're gonna turn the body over towards the left. So we're gonna start with the back of the shoulder first, starting at the base of the neck here, curve down and out. We're gonna round out the bottom of the sleeve. Now we're gonna pull that back up with a slight curve towards the armpit. Let's draw in this arm. So starting at the front of the arm, on a curve, we'll draw that twice, right beside it. Now we're gonna draw in the finger, similar to how we did with verbs. We're gonna start with the thumb first, going out, and then in. Draw one finger, draw the second finger, and then the third one, we'll just bring it all the way up towards the wrist. Now we're gonna go to the front of the body, just below the front of the neck, we're gonna step down, draw a curve coming down and over towards the left. We're gonna close off the bottom of the shirt, curve going in behind the arm, and we're gonna show a little bit of it back on the back side here. We're gonna curve this back up, aiming towards the back of the neck. It's gonna go in behind the sleeve like that. We're gonna draw on the front of the sleeve. So from that same neck point, curving forward, pull that back in behind the body. Now before I draw on the arm, I'm gonna go and draw on the shorts first. From this point, I'm going to step over towards the right, curving out the front of the shorts. On the back, I'm going to step over towards the left and curve the back side. Draw the shorts cuff going across like that. Now here, I'm just going to draw a straight line going up. From the front side, I'm going to curve that in behind the front line there. Now I can go in and just tuck the arm in behind here. So I'm going to start in the front part of the arm. So stepping in from that point, I'm going to curve down, step over, draw the same thing right beside it. Now we're gonna start with the thumb first because I'm gonna rotate the hand I think going across like that. We'll draw on one finger coming down and up. We're gonna go right beside this finger and just do another curve going up and then the third finger will go right up to the wrist. Let's finish this off with the legs. So right in the middle of this leg on the right we're gonna step over and draw a straight line coming down. We're gonna curve the bottom of the shoe from the heel to the toe now again, we're going to take that toe, just like we did with fur, we're going to curve up the top of the foot and bring it to the back of the leg. We're going to step over here and just draw the front side of the leg. Right in here, we're going to draw a little curve for the sock. Let's add a little bit of detail to the shoe. So we're going to take this curve and just duplicate it right above. Draw a little toe cap, a little curve coming down. And then for the laces, it's simply just a little half circle that goes across like that. Let's take that and draw the same thing in the back. We start with the heel first, coming down back of the leg, move over, draw the front of the leg, draw a little sock line. Now from that toe, we're gonna step up and just draw the bottom of the left foot, going across like that. Take the toe, curve up, and just pull that in behind. You're only gonna see a little bit of this detail, so we're just gonna draw the sole, draw a little toe cap, probably squeeze in a little half circle for the laces. Let's add some stripes to his shirt. So right in the collar, we're gonna take this curve and just duplicate it right below it. And we're just going to work our way across from shoulder to shoulder. Leave a gap, going across, step down, drawing another curve. Now in behind the arm, I'm just going to draw a curve going across and then continuing on the back. Draw one more down here. We'll just draw a little trim along the bottom as well. And that's pretty much it. There's Phineas and Ferb. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us a request in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.